So, the next game to review here is Override Mech City Brawl. If you like this game, you like the review, um, click like, leave a comment on YouTube or Twitch. Um, doing something different, just reviewing games today. So, I'm probably going to clip these all differently, separately. Uh, so, I'm re-saying this, but if I do clip the whole thing and upload the whole thing, thank you for listening to this again, yet again. Um, but all right, so Override Mech City Brawl. Let's, let's take a look at this game i do have playstation underground does have a gameplay trailer here but i kind of want to just see like the basic trailer at first what'd that say they use alpha footage but still awesome okay modus games presents balance inc production so two companies i have honestly never heard of not that that's a bad thing you know not like I've, i'm saying i'm like the know-all, end-all of game companies here. Interesting. So we got a mech fighter game. Ooh. Third-person 3D. Well, that mech looks crazy. All right. Supercharged mechs. What, are you fighting a ring? What is going on with that? What the heck is that? Competitive multiplayer. All right. Split screen. Cool, so you can play at home with your friends if you do do that. The rare occasion. Party co-op. Four players online. Okay. What? Two people can control one mech? Story mode? What? What? Oh, uh, they've got real-world effects like Just Cause 4. Override Mech City Brawl. All right, so Override Mech City Brawl. Uh, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of... Let me look at the price. $39.99 yet again. The, I think these game companies know people are going to try and put in stocking stuffers for Christmas. You know? So this is when you put out the lower price games, like the indie developers. Like, this is indie developer month almost. You know? So people get, like, that stocking stuffer for their niece or their nephew. Like, not they're not going to get you the $60 game. But here's a nice little fun $40 game for you to put in your stockings. You know, I think that's what they're expecting here. Um... So, looking at this game, we got a little snapshot here. Um, the buildings look like... I mean, this isn't the most textured game, you know, but it's kind of cool that you can, like, destroy a town. I mean, I am I am older, so I don't mind fully when a $40 title is not the most high-definition thing I've ever seen. You know, the actual character's body and everything, that's pretty kind of cool looking. These mechs kind of look really cool, and let's get some animations here in the background. So moving around kind of looks cool. Look at how the buildings kind of break, kind of like they're made of like, uh, you know, like they're made of kind of like styrofoam almost, like, and then the pieces just disappear. But like that's kind of cool, like. You know, who hasn't wanted to be in a big mech and stuff and fight? I mean, I don't necessarily want to take out a city while I'm doing it. But, uh, you know, a mech fighting game is kind of cool. There's been mech fighting games that have come out on a lot of old systems. This has been a, a style of game that has been attempted many times. You know, it, definitely nothing new with that. But, I mean, I could definitely see... Oh, wait, I'm noticing something. There is a wall... So the area that you can fight in is not that big. Huh. Okay, so maybe that's just this type of fighting, you know? That might just be that mode there. Let's see. All right, so now we got another fighting thing. All right, still a smaller area here. Oh, but you can fall down below. Okay. 
but still not a gigantic area for you to explore here. United States. Yeah, see, again, you do have, like, a smaller fighting area for you to kind of fight in. It's kind of like a ring, you know? It's not like you're able to fight in the whole city. You're able to fight in the ring, you know? Uh, not bad, though. Not bad. Uh... I mean, for a $40 title, that's kind of... It's not bad. I, I would be very excited about this game if it was, like, a gigantic... Scene. Like, imagine, like, a game the size of, like, I don't know, Red Dead or something. Like, I don't know. I have high hopes, okay? Like, imagine that. Like, a mech game like that. Like, an open-world, free-roam mech game. You know, or something, like, where you could fly and travel around. That'd be kind of cool. So, it's just a, this is a fighting game. This is just a fighter game, uh, but a cool-looking 3D fighter game. But the area being so small, it's not like you're going to kind of run around buildings. You're not going to be able to, like, and all the buildings really aren't tall enough here, at least, for you to kind of, like, surprise someone. And then the, the, the next area that they're fighting in, see, like, it's not really that large, so... The, the fact of the buildings being there are just kind of, I think, an early game. Like, oh, well, isn't that a fun feature? But in reality, what the game is, it's a fighting game. It's a 3D fighting game where uh, it's not just a side view. You can kind of move around. You can strafe. You know, uh, so $40, I think, is an okay price for this game. But I think it would have been cooler if it was larger if they had an online mode where maybe you had, like, Team Deathmatch, you know, maybe you had some kind of, like, a really big open area. So, I don't know if that is in this. You know, there could be a mode like that coming to this. Uh, Real World 3D Arenas. So, it's like an arena fighter. Party co-op. Two to four friends. Customize your mech. Like, yes, yeah, so it's going to be, like, some interesting uh, i5. 760 wow this game will run on anything golly gosh you know so it's you know this looks like it's they made extinction sky bass have them that's not a bad game that's not bad um you know they make kind of interesting games lost worlds okay you know, I think that's kind of what I would hope for it, you know. And when you see kind of like the trailer, you know, we're watching the trailer. And in the trailer, you can't really see that kind of blue wall, the blocking wall. You know, like you're seeing this fight, you're seeing this city. You know, one of the cool things in... Like, see, there you see it. You see it briefly there. You know, <laughs> like, very briefly. Where is it? Boom. There it is. You know, so you see it briefly. But really, you're seeing, like, all of this in the background. And you're expecting it to all be breakable. You know, how far can you run? But then you realize, well, you can't really go that far. And, and the reason for the buildings being there is is not that that much. You know, so I hope that they make a good enough amount of money on this so that Override Mech City Brawl 2 maybe grows up to that. Like, I'm excited for this company so that hopefully the next game will be even better. That's where I think it, it needs to go. I think a game like this would be great if you can have, like, a 4v4 deathmatch or 10v10 and a, a bigger city with taller buildings that you can hide behind and then out of nowhere, like, you know you hear him walking, through, like, past a building on the other side and you're in this gigantic mech. I mean, what do you want to do? You want to hide behind a building. You're in this gigantic mech. What are you going to do? You punch through the building, maybe grab the guy through the building, pull him through, destroy this gigantic building down, you know, and just punch him and find... Like, that's what you kind of want. Like, that's the dream of, like, a mech game is that that's what you're doing, you know? Even when I was in playing, uh, like, Titanfall... Wasn't it Titanfall with the mechs and, and stuff? 
you know, it's kind of like what you want. You want to be able to break through buildings. You're this gigantic mech, you know. This is kind of what you want to do. Whereas in this, the buildings are there just because the match started and you just haven't destroyed them yet. But they don't really, you know, you can't hide behind them. You can't surprise someone. You can't lose your opponent behind them, you know. But for a fun, purely fun, let's see what systems this comes out on. Mexico Bro, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. See, like, I think this game is made for the Switch. I don't, like... I don't know. I think this is more of, like, a mobile kind of game. You know, I think this will be perfect for the Switch. I think this will run great for, like, the cell phones, maybe. Maybe cell phones can load some. I don't know. Maybe not. It's a lot of buildings, a lot of destruction that would have to be loading. You know, so maybe not on that... But, like, I think this is more so made for, like, travel and play. You know, something kind of fun. Um, as long as you have Wi-Fi. And the online portion of it sounds like it'll be kind of cool. Uh, I know with uh, Nintendo, you have to have the online thing. And I don't know how well they're doing with that for smaller companies. It seems to be kind of wonky for even bigger companies. So I don't know where they're going to be going with that. Um, but, yeah. I mean, $40, though, it's a nice stocking stuffer. But I really wonder how long the the interest of, okay, we've got this kind of small arena. It takes me like four or five steps to kind of get from one side to the other, you know. And, and pretty much every fight, the same thing happens. We're, we're basically, the buildings get cleared out. And then we're back to it's just a fighting game with just like an interesting looking city behind us. Because now everything's already destroyed. You know, like, <laughs> and if they do have it where maybe, like, the buildings could block something of yours, so you need to destroy them, I can see that getting a little bit frustrating, you know, where it's going to just turn out to two of the people clearing out the buildings, like, early on. But, like, I don't know. I would play this. For $40, I might wait for it to be on sale also. Uh, but I, I hope that the the company makes what they're looking to make uh, for this. And I, I hope the next one gets bigger. Like, I hope companies like this need support so that they can get bigger and so that they can make that thing that would make more sense. Because the big-time companies that could just make something like this and make it bigger, they don't even want to put money into something like this, you know? And I think there's a market out there for things like this, but on larger scales, you know, especially on larger scales. So really, I, I wish the best. I, I think, I think I will probably own this game eventually. I think, I think so. I, I know I've got a bunch of other games played through on the stream, so that's the main reason why I'd say I'm delaying on it. But I think a game like this is definitely something I would have. If it was coming out on the Switch, most definitely I'd probably get it. You know, just so I could play it offline. But I'm rarely moving to play my xbox and playstation when i'm not streaming you know unless it's like something like you know a long play thing like maybe red dead you know sometimes i do play like call of duty uh when i'm not streaming so i don't know if it'd be like my go-to xbox or playstation or even pc game like why well, am i gonna turn on my whole play you know uh pc just to play this game you know, like, I don't know. And then for me to even play PlayStation or Xbox, I have to turn on my PC because I do it through the capture card, you know, and it's a whole, it's a whole process. So it's like, why am I going to turn on all that? But whereas if it was on the Switch, ooh, play this on the couch? Yeah, I can see myself doing that while guinea pig sleeping when I feed her in the afternoon. Yeah, I crack this out. Yeah, I would play it. I'd play it. It looks kind of cool. I mean, it's a mech fighting game. It's the type of game that hasn't been out for a while. And, uh, yeah, not bad. Right, let's move on to the next game. Golly. Click like also. If you, all that. If you're watching on YouTube. 